हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू क्राफ्टोपिया सीजन फोर मिनिमलिज्म वाज एन आर्ट मूवमेंट दैट बिगैन इन द 1960s द आर्टवर्क इन्वॉल्व्ड वाज लार्जली ज्योमेट्रिक एंड एब्स्ट्रैक्ट इट इज आल्सो कॉल्ड मिनिमल आर्ट लिटरलिस्ट आर्ट एंड एबीसी आर्ट बट व्हाट इज द स्टाइल ऑल अबाउट Some of the key aspects of this movement were geometric compositions, repetitions, clean lines and solid uses of color. They really wanted to call attention to the material being used in the works themselves. It was a rejection of what came before, specifically abstract expressionism which dominated the art market in the 1950s. These new artists wanted no representation or suggestion of depth no expression of a feeling no expression of emotion just the use of geometric shapes as it is the least expressive the medium or material from which it is made and the form of the work is the reality and the focus minimalism mainly began with frank stella's black paintings exhibited at the museum of modern art in new york in 1959 he famously said about his paintings what you see is what you see donald judd was one of the main thinkers and creators in this minimalist movement he claimed these works are neither painting nor sculptures but instead specific object occupying real space carl andre called his work a kind of plastic poetry in which elements are combined to produce space jobair explored non-objectivity in her black and white hard edge paintings as part of the new york minimalist movement rosemary castoro was a central figure in the new york minimalist movement despite the fact that there were few women included in this scene she was later identified as a figure who subverted or overrode minimalism on its own turf today minimalism can be used to talk about many things such as design architecture poetry and movies so let's take some inspiration from this art movement and make our own minimalist art for this we need a design outline pliers and craft wire Today we are going to create a wire fish. First, take a long piece of wire and make the outline. For this, bend the wire using the side profile by placing it on the design. Use masking tape to keep the wire in place. To curve and bend the wire, you may need to use your thumb or finger like this and secure it with masking tape. For sharp bends you can use pliers like this. Trim the extra wire, pull out the masking tape and tighten the connection with pliers. Now take a small piece of wire and place it to separate the tail from the body. In the same way, we will make the face as well. Add some additional designs to build the design. Here we are taking any round object and roll the wire around it like this. You can use a pen or pencil or a brush. Trim the extra wire and tighten it. For the fins, bend the wire along the shape like this. Make sure to connect the ends properly 
or you will hurt your fingers. Join small pieces of wire to make the inner design of the fins. For the eyes, we need to double the wire and then roll it with the help of pliers like this. Attach it to the frame of the body. When you're done with the whole design, attach three pieces of wire on the fins to enable the piece to stand upright. Now place it on the wooden log and mark the point where you want to insert the wire. Now prick a hole with the help of a nail. Insert the wire and apply some glue if required. Your minimalistic wire art is ready. Thank you for watching. Like, share, and subscribe to KNMA for more exciting content. Don't forget to tag us when you share your finished artwork.